I knew I was gay from a very young age. Even though I knew I was gay, I was very scared of coming out as gay. Because coming out as gay in Nigeria is coming out to attacks by mob. I remember the first person I told was my mother. I told her, mommy, I think I am like those men that like other men. And she was like, don't say that. You cannot be gay. You are a worried boy. You are in Nigeria. As I continue to try to pretend like I'm straight, date women, it's just continuing more hot. One day, I tried to meet a guy on a gay dating app in Indigo. Pretended like he was gay. When I came there, they attacked me, beat me up, took my wallet and my phone. After that incident, I said I wasn't going to be gay anymore. But it's difficult for you not to be something that you are. So then I said to myself that I would stop lying to myself. I would stop pretending like I said I'm a pastor, preaching, and I'm hurting other people. And I was going to come out. So coming out was an opportunity for me to let other people know that we exist. I exist. And that has been one of the most relieving things for me so far. Coming out as gay was met with backlash. So my dad, they tried to get me to marry a woman. Then I flee to Abuja. I was attacked in my apartment in Abuja, dragged out, beaten on the street, stripped naked. I realized that if I wanted to survive, it wouldn't be in Nigeria. That I have to go somewhere where I can be safe. This was what led me to come to the United States in 2016 to seek asylum. When I came here, I didn't have no friend, no family, nobody. I was detained. I was getting an immigration job for five months and 14 days seeking asylum. After I was granted asylum, I became homeless. I was on the street for two weeks. That was where the idea of forming an organization that would provide refuge for other asylum seekers came to me. So since 2017, I started this organization that is providing access to housing for asylum seekers and refugees. Nigeria did not accept me. America accepted me. I'm giving them my talent. I'm giving them my input and everything to make the society a better place for Americans. What I could have done for Nigeria. So many LGBTQ people have to leave Nigeria to find safety, which is not cool. So I encourage you as a Nigerian, before you criticize someone that is gay, why don't you learn about that person? What are their motivations? What push them to want to do this? And then you will know that this thing is not like a cause. It's not like a borrowed caution. There are gay people in Africa even before our colonial masters arrived there. So what you're only doing is pushing people away. We're living in a world where a man marries a woman and it's frowned upon for a man to marry a man and a woman to marry a woman. And we are not asking that everybody should become gay. What we are saying is that you should give us the right to live as we want to live, to be free of condemnation from society.